<laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut my six inch and my ten inch. I feel like I can't talk. I'm gonna. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell right next to it. That way you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video. So I've actually already done a video similar to this one for those of you guys that remember. But if you missed it, I will link it down below. For the past video that I did that was kind of similar to this one, I did it a little bit different. I actually used my own frosting. I did use the cake from the grocery store, but the frosting I used my own. And for this video, I will not be using my own frosting. I actually want to use the frosting on the cake. So yeah, if you did see my part one, like I said, I'll link it down below. This video will be similar to it, but not the same. And also the whole design that I'm doing will be quite different. Before we get started with cake decorating, I will be making myself a meal and for that, so this portion of the video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know I am a huge fan of HelloFresh. They basically send you all the ingredients that you need right at your door for you to make some bomb meals. Today, I will actually be making sesame soy beef bowls. So this is just one meal of the three that came in my box and this comes in handy so much for times that I don't want to overeat. I don't want to eat fast food. I want to cook at home. I really don't know what to make. I want something a little bit different, but I also don't feel like going to the grocery store and getting a bunch of ingredients. HelloFresh got me. So like I said, they do send you all the ingredients that you need, fresh and pre-proportioned, ready to go just for you to get to cooking as well as this right here, which tells you the prep time, the cook time, calories, and in the back, some easy to follow instructions with some pictures. So this saves me so much time whenever I am ready to cook. I just pull out the back of whatever meal it is I'm going to be making, open it up, and inside are all the ingredients that I will be needing to make this meal. So the meat was on the side since this was packaged on ice. And now I just follow the instructions on how to get this going. So I'm gonna get to cooking and I'll be right back with my meal. taste test because it smells so good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of everything and it even shows you how to serve it so let me have a bite with you guys so also HelloFresh does have something for everybody from low-carb vegetarian also kid-friendly and you are able to adjust your boxes if you guys want to check out HelloFresh you guys can head over to hellofresh.com and use my code 12 LDM it'll give you guys 12 free meals as well as free shipping now let's get on to some cake decorating okay so here I have six grocery store cakes on so the past video that I did I actually only used one I think it was yeah I think we only used one grocery store cake and it was just a two-tier wedding cake so for this one it is six of them and I will be doing a three-tiered wedding cake and like I said I do want to reuse all of the frosting that's already on this cake basically like recycle it and then try and frost the wedding cake con esta misma uh, frosting so I just went to the grocery store and this is what they had there this one is a happy birthday with some purple roses this one is another happy birthday with some pink roses uh, these two are just plain white White. And then this one is a random graduation cake and this one we have here a unicorn cake So first off, let me go ahead and decide what I'm gonna do actually I'm thinking of doing it a 6, 8, 10 inch cake Wedding cakes I feel like as far as like the decoration, it's always very simplified, very simple Just, I already went ahead and bought some roses so I can incorporate this onto the cake and then just make it look a little bit more fancy So I will be using this and then also some gold flakes which I had used on one of my Facebook lives So if you know, you know and I'm thinking since these circles are 8 inch I think I'm gonna use these two as my 8 inch and then for these four square cakes I'll go ahead and cut out 6 inch and 10 inch circles. So first step I'm gonna go ahead and open up all my cakes mm, 
So let me get rid of all the little the heart designs that they have on here. And thankfully, they did pipe roses on all these three, which gives me a lot of frosting to work with. I'm trying to get rid of the green, but as far as like this color, I can work with. I'm debating if to incorpor incorporate purple to the wedding cake. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping off all of the frosting on these cakes. I'm gonna first kind of exclude the green. I don't like the green. Si se me va poquito, it's fine. But I'm trying to get rid of the green leaves. That way I'm left with like the pink and the white frosting. basically got rid of like the really bright pop out colors like the orange the green and then the really bright purple over here i think for the most part these colors kind of blend together now especially these two i'm really going to try and use the most frosting out of these two so now i'm just going to scrape the flowers Ooh, a little bit of bread went in there Ooh. i cannot get any bread actually because then when i'm frosting my cake i don't want bread crumbs on here but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and scrape all of the frosting out from all of my cake and now I'm gonna cut it into six inch and ten inch six inch and ten inch and then now I'm gonna cut out my bread and the eight inch I'm gonna use the other circle cake so I'm gonna do a double layer for both so two ten inch and two six inch Okay, so I have my two six inch, my two 10 inch, and I have this board right here. So I'm gonna transport, transport, I'm gonna transfer my 10 inch cake onto the board. That's not the biggest one, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Cause it's 10, eight, six. But is this 10 inch? This is eight inch. Eight. No, you already have eight. Stop the camera. Okay guys, I just realized that I cut what I thought I was cutting as 10 inches as 8 inches. So basically I just have 6 inch and 8 inch. There's no 10 inch, but even if I wanted to cut a 10 inch for a third tier, the cake is not wide enough, like the, the sheet cakes are not wide enough for me to cut out 10 inches. So that makes me feel a little better because even if I wanted to cut them 10 inches, the circulo no me hubiera cabido. Well, the 8 inch, as you guys can see, apenas, like it barely fit. So even if I want a 10 inch, I couldn't have been able to do it. So instead of me doing a three tier cake, a little quick turnaround, I'm actually gonna do a two tier cake, but the bottom one, I'm gonna do it very tall. And then the top one, AKA the six inch, I'm gonna do it short, I, uh, which I feel like is also something that I've been seeing a lot when it comes to wedding cakes, like a very tall bottom tier. And then the top tier is like smaller and then the flowers are just like, you know, uh, kind of where like the top and the middle tier connects. So I have to update you guys as to why we're not doing three tiers. So yeah, this is gonna be my eight inch. Okay, eight inch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some frosting. For the filling, I was just gonna leave it like that, just frosting, but I feel like for wedding cakes, it has to have a yummy filling. So I'm gonna be adding some topped pecans, and then right on top of that, I'm drizzling some milk chocolate. And I'm not gonna go too to the edge because I didn't put a border just because I don't want to waste my frosting. I want to use the frosting for uh, the actual frosting of the cake. This is my 
eight inch. Like I said, I do want to make this tall. So let me put this to the side and now bring in my circle cakes. So these are actually eight inches already. So no cut, no need to cut or anything because they're already. Why do I explain things like that? <laughs> they are eight inches, so I don't have to cut or anything. I just have to take off the frosting. Okay, these do have like a uh, cocoa flakes. Coconut, what do you call it? <laughs> Coconut flakes. Around the cake, which is going to be a little messy. So number one, I'm going to take off all the flakes. That way um, it doesn't get stuck on my frosting for when I do frost my cake. Okay, they put too much flakes on the sides. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save anything from the sides, but from the top, I think I can still grab a good amount. Okay guys, it's starting to get dark, but I think the light is still good, but I'll bring out more ring lights. But I already took off the frosting off this one and off this one, and I was able to save a good amount. But for some reason, this cake is a little lopsided, which is very, very common, like, you know, for a grocery store cake, because once they frost it, they even it out. So they're not too worried about the cake, but since this is a wedding cake, I do want for it to be like as even as possible. I mean, I just personally can't really frost a cake when they're like, like lopsided a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit just to even it out and it'll make it easier for me to frost it. Okay, and then for this one, I'm also gonna go ahead and level it off just a little bit, especially because this tier is gonna be kind of tall, so I don't want for it to be uh, flopping or anything. I mean, these are fine to be kind of like that. If you fix it with the icing, it's fine, but they are these are gonna be stacked, so I just want evenness. Okay, so now I'm gonna stack this one on top of this one. Okay, so this is a tall tier. Uh, I'm still missing the two short ones on top, but I don't know if you guys know kind of what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys have seen this kind of cakes. Like this tier is very tall, and then uh, the top one is the chaparrita, and then they just have like the flowers here. That's kind of what I'm going for. Let me rinse, or mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean up, but first I kind of wanna. Do you guys see how these layers are a little bit off? I don't have too much frosting to fix these errors, so I'm gonna fix them now before I get onto the frosting. So this will just make it even. Again, if I had, for example, if I had right now, you're confused, huh? Because if I had a lot of frosting, I could just do like a very thick layer of frosting and then cover up all the unevenness. But because I don't have that much frosting and I'm trying to like only use, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So I'm pretending. So basically like I'm going into this cake pretending that my friend's wedding is tomorrow and they canceled her cake on her and she's like crying and I don't have time to bake. I don't have time to go buy frosting because the store's closed or something. Like what would I do? This is what I would do. Okay, there we go. I think I got the breads as good as I can get them. Let me do a quick cleanup and then I'll be right back so we can frost this. Or no, I'll be back so we can stack the six inch. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my six inch. Literally what I just did with those over there. So here's one. I did try to take out the six inch out of two of them out of just one square cake, but they didn't fit, so. Okay, so instead of frosting both of them just white, I want for this to be like a very, very soft green. This is actually a neon green. Should I use neon green? I wanted like a pistachio green, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna use some leaf green, just a little bit. I was going to do pink, but I feel like pink is not really wedding vibes, especially with the roses that I bought and stuff. I feel like it'll kind of bring the cake to life. Something a little bit different uh, from like, you know, your regular wedding cake. Okay, and I think this should be enough to frost this whole cake. Okay, so I'm gonna start frosting. This frosting, it's not as smooth anymore because I am like reusing it. But like I said, I think I'll be able to save it with some warm water. I'm going to do a quick little crumb coat around the whole cake. Okay, so I am done crumb coating this. 
I'm going to frost it. This is a frosting that I have. I don't know if it will be, if it will be enough. I think it will. I also went ahead and added a little bit of water to this because um, the frosting was drying up too much and it was uh, becoming a little hard for me to frost. I'm gonna attempt to frost the whole cake with just this right here. I do have some extra put to the side for the little cake, but this is all I have and all I was able to save from all of the other ones. Done frosting this tier took a little bit longer than I thought just because the frosting was kind of dried up and I should have added a little bit more water warm water to kind of like get it to work again but I made it work finally have this completely frosted now to do my little one which this one shouldn't take as long so let me go ahead and quickly frost this and then we'll get to tearing the cake adding the gold flakes and then the flowers So I am done frosting both. I am gonna add these smoothie straws to give my tear a little bit of support. These will just give the cake some support. That way this tear doesn't like fall down onto my pastel. Okay, that is done. I'm going to now throw this on top of this and then we'll go on with the flowers and the most important part, which I really feel is going to make the cake pop and just look fancy and very wedding vibes is the gold plate. So let me grab that. Okay, I got, I got, <laughs> I have my gold plates right here. I ordered these off Amazon and then some flowers. I did go kind of extra with buying flowers because I didn't know like exactly what color I was going to end up using or exactly what color the frosting was going to turn out to be. But I think the camera doesn't catch as much again because of the ring lights but this is like a very very light pistachio green and then this one is white okay, i'll probably end up using these right here these huh? mm -hmm. are more yeah, yeah. I like the pink ones i'm not getting too much wedding vibes and these are giving me like wedding vibes every single time that i stack cakes I use my hand and when I go like this, like I scratch the cake every single time. So I was seeing videos of like how other people do it and they actually use spatulas and let it go. <sighs> so many cakes that I've done and I've never been able to do that. Like that's one thing that I suck at doing. Oh, <gasps> I just stabbed it with a spatula. Also, I'm trying not to make it too messy uh, because I have no more frosting to like kind of cover up the board with a pipe. But again, I feel like the flowers are going to cover up any mistakes. So, so I managed to get both spatulas down here this doesn't feel right <laughs> no okay i'm gonna use my hand and a spatula <laughs> see this is where i get stuck and then i end up stabbing the cake i'm gonna just let it go <gasps> i think it worked and then let it go with this spatula. <gasps> okay, that wasn't too bad. There is that big <laughs> mistake right here from when I where I stopped it right now. But I'm gonna put flowers here, so I think I'm able to cover that. I'm gonna bring down the lights a little bit so the cake can pop out more, and then I can kind of fade. Sorry, guys. Normally when I do these cakes, these cakes take a long time. You guys see it edit, but we've been here for about two or three hours, uh, especially because I kind of like. We clean up in between. Isa me van sol, so hence why we have to keep working <laughs> around the lights. Okay, I'll bring up the lights right now, but just so you guys can kind of see the the color. Also, I always pick uh, like the pretty side of the cake, what looks like more stable, and that's the front of your cake, which I think should be right here. And then um, that's fine. Again, we're gonna cover it up with flowers first. 
Okay, so for the gold leaf, it's actually the second time. Yeah, second time that I ever play with uh, this right here. The first time was actually with you guys on Facebook Live. If you know, you know. I was like really. Oh. oh. <laughs> also, this frosting is whipped cream, so it is very um, sensitive to the touch. It will transfer. So I'm going to actually use a brush, kind of play with it. Okay, I'm gonna get on the table again. If you know, you know. If you saw my Facebook Live, girl, on this flying all over the place. I never knew like what gold leaf was. I'm telling you guys, I had never played with it and it's literally like super, super, super like as thin as air. Paper um, out of gold, so like gold leaf. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of water, a little bit of water. It'll pick up the gold leaf and then just transfer to the cake. Oh, that looks pretty. And when I was live, a lot of you guys were telling me like, let's use a brush. And I didn't know what you guys meant by use a brush. And then this is what you guys meant. So we have a little bit right there. The flowers will go like this. So I'm going to put the gold leaf all around here. Okay, I'm going to bring down the lights a little bit. I feel like it's washing it out. But this looks so pretty. A little bit more right here. It might seem like a lot right now, but the flowers are gonna kind of empower it. No, not empower it. <laughs> you kind of sound smart. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop with the gold leaf there. Add to the flowers. Oh, it don't focus me. I'm gonna add the flowers now, and then we'll see if it needs more gold leaf. But just like right here. So I went ahead and added the C and the A, pretending it was for somebody. And then I also got this right here, which I feel like would put the whole cake together. My board is white, didn't really think about that, but. wedding cake from grocery store cakes i'm actually really really happy with the way this came out also let me know what other kind of cake videos or challenges you guys want to see on my channel and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching i love you guys and i'll see you on my next one bye